Yeah, this angle is better. But this is where it all started with Fava. So, as you know, I have this YouTube channel for quite a, a bit now, and I doesn't I do not edit my videos, so I just do it in one go. And I've been doing that because I was lazy and because when I'm done, I really want to upload. But then many people was like, it's just talking and you need a little bit of B-roll. I went to a marketing agency. They asked me if I have like some knowledge in terms of editing. I like it perfect right here. I did not. And as you know, I wanted... <laughs> I wanted to make friends. I'm really gonna try to talk really, really loud. I wanted to make friends and I could not find a proper community. Uh, but yeah, like as I, as I told you and you, this is like really my advice when you go somewhere I know it's hard to find friends in the beginning Do not go with anyone or everyone you will end up very badly and if they're not the right people and you need help They're not gonna help you. They're just gonna drag you or they would be the one Why you were put in that situation in the first place. My mom made that to me So um, so I have a friend whose mom whose mom knows a little bit about the community of Edmonton he knows a lot because he's very cultural, he's very artsy you name it, like the concerts, the events, like the like um, festivals like, Ed like heritage festival, um, taste of Edmonton, stuff like that he's like, check Fava, it's about film and maybe you would learn video editing so I went there and looked for some courses and there was the kitchen lab and he loves to cook so I was like, oh we can do it together but turns out like Kitchen Live is just like all the ingredients that you need to make a movie. And I was thinking of like uh, some kinds of like special effects or whatever. But actually it's like the traditional way. Oh, I'm just right here. Traditional in the sense that it's going to show you the lightning, the sound, you have like different kinds of like you have camera, different kinds of lights, you have the filters, you have like the big lights. If ever you're filming or shooting a documentary at night. You have um, for audio. You have the boom, so like the mic that you that you hold like that. You have the mic that you put in on the clothes. So throughout the week, it's going to do that. So with the first first class, you actually do a small script and you try to shoot that. And the next class, uh, so you have your scripts and then you have like the different. Um, you have like the props. So it goes week by week like that. If you want, I'll do a separate video on each week on what things I have learned and maybe throw some kinds of some stuff that I know because I have been on set two times so one time it was I was invited and I was a second AC second AC means second camera assistant and I'm going to cover that I'm not the best it, I did that one time the second time was that I feel I should a short film which I think I briefly mentioned but I'm going to touch up on that afterwards but this is how things started because once you're done you have to do a short film of five minutes and after that you submit that and it's gonna be uh that there's, there's gonna be a premiere uh about that um so yeah so i that's how i got up with i got out with, got up got out excuse my english with my script and i put it out there so this is how how really really legibly things started for me in the next video i'm gonna go in the different weeks what i've done and in the end finishing by what um i got my friends out there how i met people and what happened on set so thank you so much for this video thank you for your patience because i'm really not regular so yeah i appreciate you for that see you in the next video bye